before I begin, let me ask you a question. What are some physical traits of good-looking women or handsome men? Many of us may have different answers to this question. With the reputation of holding some of the world's most beautiful women and men, South Korea is also a country known for its excessive amount of plastic surgery procedures. One survey conducted by Limewire asked students about their views on plastic surgery and the people who get it. She wanted to make her nose look higher as she felt it is placed too low in the middle of her face. Likewise, people are often judged by their appearance. However, the problem that lies here is that the more we look like celebrities on TV, the more favorably we're judged. The physical traits of popular idol stars and celebrities that we commonly see on TV, social media, or even popular webtoons have become the standard of beauty in our country. More importantly, many children and adolescents in Korea grow up with these images and come to believe that those who look like celebrities on TV are physically superior to ordinary people. In conjunction with the impact of social media, the older Korean generation stereotype of being very strict with tradition, social norms, and education has pushed young people to strive to be superior to others. The pressure to be perfect and to honor one's family and ancestors is everywhere. Koreans are very family-oriented, and therefore, to make one's parents proud is important. In the race to be the best, it has been undeniable in the Korean society that when it comes to job interviews, the candidate with good looks may get the job before another candidate with the same education and background, but with, dif with different, less appealing looks. What is our standard of beauty? Skinny and pretty, tall and handsome. When we ask people, they do not know why skinny people have become the standard of beauty in our current generation. It is unfortunate that those who do not fit people's beauty standards are looked down on in our society. That is so hurtful because outward appearance is not something that easily changed without restoring to artificial surgical operations. It is simply not fair for people to judge others for what they are born with. We, as high schoolers, must take bold actions against the mainstream culture that feeds in our insecurity and pursuits for unrealistic beauty. We must be proactive about this issue because otherwise, our self-esteem will be trample, trampled down and we will become slaves to the tragic trail of unrealistic beauty standards. There are simple things that you can do that can make a huge difference. First, say no to yourself whenever you're exposed to those images of celebrities or cartoons that convey unrealistic beauty standards. Second, deliberately boycott companies that use unrealistic beauty icons to sell their products. In a way, as consumers, we are the decision makers that can change the vision, bi, vision, visions of businesses and corporations. The more accepting we are of their ill-willed strategies, the more deeply those businesses will try to conquer our consciousness. Say no as we turn our back from such harmful manipulation. We can solidly grow our self-esteem and keep our emotional state stable and healthy. Third, we need to form a comedy in each school that aims to take care of high schoolers' minds by encouraging them to critically evaluate the environment that they're exposed to with the internet, TV, commercials, and more. We need to recognize the issue and raise our voice because all those small efforts in our daily life will surely result in sound self-esteem based on solid confidence. Lastly, 
say no to those hard to believe perfect looking celebrities. Say no to those plastic surgery promotions that feeds in our insecurity. Say no to those corporations such as Victoria's Secret that attack our self-esteem. I believe that this is time for us to shout for mercy for an outward appearance that was a gift from our parents. Thank you for listening.